welcome back to Ship Captain video series. Today we are going to talk about MS Orbrassel. The overall length of Orbrassel is 362.0 meters making her one of the longest ships currently in service. The breadth and depth of her hull are 65.0 meters and 30.4 meters, respectively, giving her a gross tonnage of 198,980. Orbrassel has 7 cargo holds with a combined gross volume of 219,980 cubic meters and net tonnage of 67,993. Her dead weight tonnage is 402,347 tons. When carrying a full load of iron ore, equal to around 11,150 trucks, her draft is 23 meters. Like other very large ore carriers of her size, Orbrassel is limited to only a few deepwater ports in Brazil, Europe, and China. Orbrassel is propelled by a single-man BNW7S80 MECA two-stroke low-speed diesel engine directly coupled to a fixed-pitch propeller. The main engine, which has a maximum output of 29,260 kilowatts at 78 RPM, burns 96.7 tons of heavy fuel oil per day. However, due to the large size of the vessel, the emissions per cargo ton mile are very low, making Orbrassel in fact one of the most efficient long-distance drive boat carriers in service. For this reason the ship received the Clean Ship Award of 2011 in the Norwegian Shipping Exhibition or Shipping. Bale has reported 35% drop in emissions per ton of cargo in comparison to older ships. Her service speed is 15.4 knots. Orbrassel is classified by Dead Norsk Veritas with the class notation of symbol used by Dead Norsk Veritas for ships constructed under their supervision. Orbrassel is considerably larger than the previous record holder, Burj Stalin, in every respect. Both her gross tonnage and dead weight tonnage are larger than those of the Norwegian ship, 175,720 and 364,767 tons, respectively. While the draft of both ships is the same, Orbrassel is also 20 meters longer and 1.5 meters wider than Burge Star. In addition, Orbrassel is larger and slightly longer than the four new 388,000 ton, 361 meter Chinamax bulk carriers Burge Bulk has ordered from China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation. On 24 May 2011 Bale Brassi received her first cargo at the Brazilian port terminal Maritimo de Ponta da Madeira, 391,000 tons of iron ore, enough to produce steel for more than three Golden Gate bridges, bound for Dalian in China. However, in June, after rounding the Cape of Good Hope, the ship was rerouted to Taranto, Italy, and turned back towards the Atlantic Ocean. There had been speculation that Bail Brassel was not allowed to enter the Chinese port fully lobby, but according to Bail, the destination was changed due to commercial, not political reasons with no change in their physical dimensions. Thus these same vessels regained their ability to re-enter the same ports they were previously declared too large to enter. Subsequently the Chinese government banned all ships over 300,000 DWT, effectively banning the Balamax ships from entering Chinese ports. 